What is the magic number to get the best out of your SIP? 7, 5, 3, 1. If you're intrigued about how these magic numbers are related to SIPs and how they will ensure your success with SIPs, continue watching the video. So what exactly is the 7531 rule? Let's dive right in. 7 is the minimum number of years you should ideally hold your SIPs. Experts suggest that the market goes through a complete cycle in around 7 years. So there are higher chances that you will stay protected from market volatility and recover from any ups and downs. Historical data shows that there are no negative returns if the investment tenure is 7 years. Number 5 is the 5 finger framework for diversification. It says that your investments should be spread across 5 asset classes. Large cap stocks, value stocks, GRP stocks, mid cap or small cap stocks and global stocks. Let's explore why each of these stocks are important for your portfolio. Large cap stocks are stable stocks of high value companies that are well established and have shown solid performance over the years. Your portfolio should have these stocks as they provide the necessary cushion during market volatility. Next is value stocks. They consist of stocks that are undervalued but can offer you good returns in the long run. They are likely to rise in the future and will offer you good value for your money. Let's talk about GRP GARP stocks. They are growth at reasonable price stocks that show promise of a good growth and can be considered as the emerging stars. Stocks of sunrise sectors fall under this category. Sunrise sectors are basically areas that are growing fast and will become important in the near future. For example, drones, telecom, petrochemical, space tourism, etc. Next up, let's look at mid-cap or small-cap stocks. They are stocks that come with higher risks than large-cap but can offer exponential returns for your investments. Historical data shows some small-cap mutual funds have given even 60% returns in one year. Lastly, you need to have global stocks in your diversified portfolio. Global stocks can give you the advantage of hedging against domestic stocks. They can shield your investments from any local economic downturns. Now coming back to the magical number 3. 3 represents the different kinds of mental challenges, disappointment, irritation and panic that you will face as an investor and how you should be prepared for them. It is not uncommon for investors to get disappointed and irritated when you do not see the desired returns for your investments. But one must remember that time in the market is more important than timing the market. During market crashes or economic downturns, you must not rush to panic selling. It is essential to remember that market fluctuations are temporary and historical data have shown that markets always rebound and recover. Holding the stocks for a longer period of time gives you the benefit of rupee cost averaging and compounding. So make sure to prioritize long-term growth. Now let's come to the last number one. It is advisable to top up your SIP amount every one year. Due to the effect of compounding, even a small increase in your SIP amount every year can make a substantial difference to your final portfolio value. Increasing your SIP amount every year by 10% over 20 years results in a portfolio value almost that is twice the portfolio value you will get with a constant SIP amount every year. So that was all about decoding the 7531 rule of SIPs. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Kuvira will come back with more such useful information on Money Matters. Investment in securities market are subject to market risk. Read all the related documents carefully before investing. For more information, visit kuvera.in.